A pocket-sized beam compass for the 21st century, the Pocket Compass and Pocket Compass XL make significant improvements on the traditional larger beam compass. Our compass uses a pair of precision machined telescoping body parts that lock to your desired dimension with a twist of a knurled head screw. Our pocket compasses are very accurate and easy to set up. They feature precision, laser engraved imperial and metric scales and a pivot hole on one half of the body. And on the other you can easily slide the alignment mark to set your dimension. To draw your circular arc, simply insert the center pin on one end and a mechanical pencil in the first tapered hole on the other. Swing the compass to draw your circular arc and you're done. Our compass also has additional precision machined pencil placement holes to conveniently increase the compass setting diameter in one inch increments to draw even larger diameter circles. Another point of our new compass design is the point. Unlike the common divider style compass with its pin sharp centering point, you can tote our pocket compass in your shop apron without feeling like a pin cushion. When not in use, the stainless steel centering point securely stores in the compass body, keeping you out of harm's way. We make our quality pocket compass in two sizes for drawing a wide range of circle diameters. The original pocket compass is compact, about the size of a disposable lighter. It can strike circles from 1 inch to 7 inches in diameter. The new, larger sized Pocket Compass XL tackles circles and arcs from 2 inches all the way up to 21 inches in diameter. When you order both sizes, your pair of Pocket Compasses will come nestled in a protective plastic case with a custom cut foam interior. With Milescraft Clamp Pickers, you can create your own custom bench clamping system on any wooden workbench 3 quarters of an inch thick or more. Each kit comes with enough hardware to create two clamping stations, plus T-bolts to convert your bench clamp for use with T-tracks or the clamp acre system itself. The system works great with 3 or 6 inch Milescraft bench clamps or many other popular bench clamp brands. Not only do clamp acres work on flat surfaces, but can be installed on the side of your work table for a vertical clamping solution. Clamps are free to rotate 180 degrees for multi-directional clamping. Mounting clamp acres is easy. With the included 2-inch Forstner bit chucked into your drill, determine your clamp acre position and then drill until flush with the top of the bit. With a quarter inch bit, drill completely through the clamping surface and attach the support plate to the opposite side and secure with provided hardware. The arrow on the clamp acres indicate the primary direction clamping. We 
sure to point the arrow in the direction you need when drilling your holes. If you want a better, more secure clamping solution for your wooden workbench, reach for Milescraft bench clamps and clampingers and create your own custom clamping system today. Milescraft, always the better idea. Combination Square Set is the most common setup tool and has many features that you might not know. Introducing AccuSize Combination Square Set, they are made of premium steel, enabling longer tool life and reliability. The Combination Square Set has many potentials. This video is to introduce as many features as possible. Usually, the Combination Square Set has three anvils and one ruler, the square head, the protractor head, and the center head. You may also call them anvils. The ruler has a groove through which it can go through the anvils. You can use the feature to create configurations for tool setup. You may use the square anvil to strike 45 degree angles and 90 degree angles. You may also use it to verify 45 degree angles and 90 degree angles. For example, you can use it to verify the right angles of a table saw or woodworking workings. With the right angle of the ruler and a 90 degree anvil, you can use it to set the height of your tools. Additionally, you may leverage the right angle of the square anvil to calibrate the table saw. The anvil has a bubble. It can work as a mini lamp. The square head also has a secrete tool, the scriber. In the event you don't have a pen or a pencil, use the scribing tool instead. Or you can even use it to mark dovetails. The center anvil is the center finder. By combining it with the ruler, you can easily find the center of a cylindrical object. The protractor head with the ruler can help create or verify any angles from 0 to 270 degrees. You may take it as the enhanced square angle. We carry the combination squares coming with different models of rulers. One ruler is called the 4R configuration. It has four types of graduations, 8th, 16th, 32nd, and 64th. The other ruler is with metric and imperial configuration. It also has four graduations, 32nd, 64th, a half millimeter, and one millimeter. Welcome to today's Rockler demo. Most of you are probably familiar with the Rockler Portable Drill Guide. We introduced it about a year ago, and it's received overwhelmingly positive reviews. It really is head and shoulders above any other drill guide. We'll take a closer look at this guide in a minute, but first, I want to show you a new accessory. It's the edge guide for the portable drill guide. This edge guide sets the distance from the edge of your work, ensuring consistent hole location for projects like drilling a row of bench dog holes or pegs for a coat rack. 
The included quarter inch by 12 inch aluminum guide bars allow drilling one and three quarter inch to eight inches from the edge. If more distance is needed from the edge, you can substitute wooden dowels for the guide bars. And if you want holes closer to the edge than one and three quarter inch, you can add a spacer block. It's the perfect accessory when you need to consistently drill a row of holes. Now, for those of you unfamiliar with the portable drill guide, let's take a look back at a previous demo video where I showed you all the features. Your drill attaches to this quarter inch hex shank that fits any handheld drill and also works with quick change chucks. Instead of a typical 3 8 inch chuck, it's got this big half inch chuck that glides on ball bearings. The chuck travels on these two substantial steel shafts and the capacity is about eight and seven eighths inches. That's measuring from the tip of the chuck to the bottom of the base. Honestly, it travels so much more securely and smoothly than other drill guys that I've used. This knurled brass knob is used to set the depth stop to control your drilling depth, which is great for repeat applications. So let's move down to the base. There's a large handle and knob here for holding the drill guide securely. They're also what you loosen to change the drilling angle from zero to 60 degrees, which is wider than the typical range of zero to 45 degrees. These angle lines are easy to read and clearly show the drilling angle. And of course, the base also features these V-shaped supports that are used for securing round stock and drilling in the center of dowels. It also features these tabs and mounting holes on the base that can be used to attach the guide to a larger base or to a shop made jig. And finally, we reach the bottom of the base where there are these threaded holes and those accept these pins that are stored on the top of the guide. When you install the pins on the base, you can straddle and center the bit over the edge of the workpiece. So you can see how much there is to this guide compared to other guides, but it can do even more when you pair it with our new self-centering drill vise. It's perfect for drilling all sizes of pen blanks but the three by three inch capacity is large enough to secure and drill any length of stock. A single rubber knob opens and closes the jaws simultaneously to perfectly center the workpiece, making it ideal for turning blanks. And while it's designed to work perfectly with the drill guide, it can also be mounted to a different base or used on its own as a typical drill press vise.